Hey guys, what's up? The patch notes for tomorrow's update on the text exchange so massacre have been released tomorrow, November 70. There's gonna be a new update and it's a pretty simple one. And to be honest, I don't think what they're gonna be trying to do here is gonna be such a good idea. I get why they're doing this because of the issue in this game of being a lobby simulator. There's a lot of lobby dodging in this game. Sometimes it just takes too long to find a match, takes too long to find a lobby. It just keeps going on and on and over for like... And uh, this is something that I, I tend to experience more when I play Vitam, which is why lately I don't even play Vitam. I play most of the time just killer. It's faster, just it's much faster to get matches like that. And it's overall, it's more of a fun experience. I just prefer to be a killer than a Vitam. Just saying. And the things that they're going to be doing here is something to improve this lobby dodging that people do. And I think this might just think, make things worse, actually, to be honest. Like the uh, Among other stuff here, uh, of course, they're going to be fixing the Nico Terror letter face problems. Which they should, because this is $17, come on. They, you pay $70 for a skin with, that comes with a weapon with a new sound. And it, it comes with bugs. It doesn't. It's not even accurate. Like it's not even like as it should be. Imagine playing seventeen dollars for something that doesn't even work as it should. So they are fixing the interaction audio because the sound of the chainsaw was not having the sound that, like of the new chainsaw of the Nicotero letter face. But instead, it was having like the one from the other one, and then the, like, the original one, and then chainsaw dance audio. They just fixing a bunch of stuff problems there. This one is good. This one the best thing. Best thing that they did on this patch. The gas station car exploit. The uh, players, the victims, of course, are the victim players. They would crouch into the blue car near the two Shadow gas station map. And then when they get there, you wouldn't be able to kill them. They could just like uh, hold the match hostage because the killers wouldn't be able to kill them there. It was just annoying, like just a shitty uh, player behavior one. When they can't like, they cannot escape, they cannot win the match. So they just go there and hide inside the car as a way to just piss off the killers. Just a bullshit thing. Fixed pixelated textures, uh, te causing texture on the skin. It's, I suppose it's the paid skins because those are important. The paid skins, since they're gonna be charging for it, and I suppose, and they are also having problems with this. So they they make the new skins for sale. They made the new Nicotero uh, Letterface skin, the skins for the victims, and they don't even load properly on some of the platforms. Like they they are charging overpriced stuff that is not even working that well. I mean, I didn't pay for any of this. For for me, I'm just laughing it off. So this is the stuff that they're going to be trying to do to fix the problems with the do uh, lobby dodging. Players levels in lobbies will now be hidden. Yeah, you get into a lobby and you're playing alone, you're low level. Everyone, everybody in the other team is, is level 99. You're going to be like, uh, why even bother? I'm fuck it. So I'm just going to quit the match. And yeah, party icons in the lobbies. The par players who are partying up will no longer display. Same thing with primates. The other thing is a primate. You're playing alone with just a bunch of like players that you have no communication, you don't know them, they are all low level, they are like random players, you know. And the other thing are just like a primate, they are all playing together with communication. So they're gonna be hiding this. They're gonna be doing this in a way to prevent people from knowing how good their opponents could possibly be. And I, I get it, like I kinda get it where they where they're going with this. So like a lot of people will just like go into a lobby, everybody quit in the lobby, and then everybody leaves. To, to find another lobby and you just keep doing that it will take like several uh, matches to be several like uh, matchmaking process to be able, until you could actually find a lobby you know and you could actually play the match it's gonna make the solo queue experience much worse like you're playing alone this game you don't know much about the game you might be able might queue up with much higher level players and you're just gonna keep getting wrecked if people keep getting wrecked in a game it's just not fun like that's just human nature people play games to have fun and what is fun for most people winning Winning tends to be more fun than losing for the most, uh, for most gamers, for the most of the player base. So if they just keep getting wrecked and like they usually like they will just like prevent this by just uh, lobby dodging, just quitting in the lobby. If you see like that, oh, these guys are high level, these guys are playing together, and I just got into the game. I just want to play a few matches to chill, and I'm playing alone. I don't have my my friends playing with me, which is the case for me. Sometimes if I'm if I'm playing with a premade with my friends on Discord. Sure, I can play any game, any match, even a slaughterhouse. A slaughterhouse is bad, sure, for the killers, but I can try giving it a try sometimes. Or sometimes my friends, they don't want to, they don't even want, want to bother. And that's one thing that they won't be able to fix, the lob dodging from the killer side on slaughterhouse. Yeah, we don't want to play the map sometimes. I mean, if it's against low-level players, sure, like, whatever, like, they, but if it's, like, against, like, high-level players, we know that, like, it, they're just gonna trigger the valve, and then there is not much you can do. There is not much of a counterplay. The counterplay against the Valve in uh, Slaughterhouse is sure. 
you have like two three killers camp at evolve and then like and then like the other other locations that they can escape there is not much there is not much of a counterplay like the counterplay is is like two people like at evolve and then like and then like the victims one victim can have like one or two victims to is the at evolve to try to use it again and then the other ones they just can, can just unlock to their doors while the killers are occupied trying to prevent evolve there is just not much of a counterplay. The Valve location in the in this other house map shouldn't be on the basement. It just and the map is too big. It just completely fucks it fucks it up for for the killers. Like it's just really bad. So the killers are still gonna be able to to lob dodge. Like the people that dodge lobbies usually uh I can be like from both sides, both killers and victims. But like the dodging from the from the from the opinion of the map that usually comes from the killer side. Or sometimes some victims. They do like uh, sometimes in family house. They don't like to play family house because it's like the map which can might be like the overall like I mean unless like they're in a pre meta they they know that they can just jump out of the window. But oh hello Connie, fucking what the oh she went there. Ah, uh, damn it! I'm almost getting her. They yeah, still not opened even the basement yet. Okay, let me just get Connie now. Nah. We get Connie out of the way, then that's like that's like half of the true power uh, firepower of the victim side gone. So, and I think that the, the reason why they are doing this is that like most of the player base, which is the victim side, most people just mainly play victim, which is why like the it's much easier to find matches as killers and victims because most people don't want to play killer because playing killer is a little bit harder. Oh, and Connie dead, nice. So this is just gonna make the experience kind of worse for the victims in the long run. Even though they are trying to make it so people that play only victim that have like a, a bigger kill wait time. So it, so people they don't lose so much time because like you get it like you're playing in a, in a you're you're all playing uh in a premium has victims. You guys are all high level. You just get a lobby killers just quit on you guys over and over. Now with this they won't quit on you guys sure, but like. They're, they're gonna get a match with you guys, and they're just gonna get wrecked, and they're just gonna stop playing the game. I think that in the long term, it's just gonna result in less and less killer mains. Killer players that won't, be, won't enjoy the game that much anymore. And if they don't enjoy the game, just, they're just gonna either stop playing, or they're gonna play as victim again. If everybody's playing as victim, if there is not much people to play as killers, the kill times are just gonna keep increasing more and more and more for the victim side, and well... That's just gonna be the game, and always slowly is gonna make it like overall like it's just gonna make make the wait times increase to such an amount that more people it's just gonna be like a snowball effect. More people stop playing the game, and eventually like the game might eventually die sooner than many people think. I don't think the game is like really dying. I mean, not yet. It's it's normal for like a decreasing player base. That's that's like normal for any game. Oh, she, oh, a oh, nice CRT. But the game might run into problems, and I think like the problems that like can help this game stay stay more active for longer, they are not being addressed by the developers. They are more worried about adding new stuff so people can buy. They just worried more about uh, uh, paid content, you know, which is, shouldn't be the case. They just want to make more money, and I get it. Like people like money, that's like how it works. But like in the same way that they want to make money, people don't want to pay play, pay so much. And so, like, we're just gonna boycott the game and boycott the new stuff being added. Like, that's what the consumers can can do. Oh, oh, everybody died. Damn it! This was a fast match. And killer mains can still lobby dodge is other house unless they try to make it so that we don't know which map is gonna be. And I think that that would be like a terrible decision. I think there should be like a maybe even like a voting system for the maps. But then again, like victims are four, killers are three, so the victims would always win. So it wouldn't exactly work that well. I don't think it will be able to work that well if they try to do like a voting system for the map because then killers would try to make it so we would never be able to get Salted House, never play Salted House because it's terrible. And well, I think that's pretty much it. Like, I think the patch, this patch might really backfire in regards to their lobby dodging um, attempts might really backfire and just gonna make people stop playing. Like, the game is still fun. I mean, for mainly for me, I mainly, I mainly play killer and it's really usually fun. When I'm playing against like uh, like average vitamins, and it's usually in in uh, in gas station or family house. If it's slaughterhouse, house, just not that fun. If I'm playing against tryhards, and to be honest, I mean, it's all about you. Don't you like a challenge? Uh, I don't know if I'm in the mood for it, but sometimes I'm not in the mood. Sometimes I don't want to really sweat. Like 
you want to make a tournament about this game then you can get all these sweats together so they can have like a tournament and they can sweat but in public matches sometimes that's why i kind of stopped playing like dead by daylight because i was trying to i was tired of having to sweat against like the the survivor mains that are tryhards and are using overpowered stuff and I, I felt like it was unfair because the, the, the survivor not only they have the advantage they are more op they have the advantage in the game asymmetrical games tend to be unbalanced towards the victim side and those guys are toxic and talking shit despite the fact that they have the advantage same thing with like party hunting grounds fire things op they just hunt the predator down the predator is a weak 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 uh we is actually the brain the game and it, it, not only you, you you are in a big disadvantage playing and the other side talks shit to you and says oh we are better than you despite only winning because the game is unbalanced so at one point you kind of lose the patient you're gonna like I'm, I'm just gonna play like a game that is more balanced and so I think this this might really backfire might really backfire into the long term and like there is not much in regard to this game to the lob dodge and lob dodging is something that is like uh, is making people quit this game and is ruining experience for some people but like their attempts of trying to decrease this actually just gonna make it ca ca happen even more there's gonna be people like oh, i'm just gonna not gonna play the game anymore at all like they should be fixing more bugs doing balance changes than this like you know if they if they nerf it this slaughterhouse map for victims you're gonna you, you then in that case you don't have to worry about uh killer mains lob dodging that because that, that that would be fixed you know you don't want to people uh lob dodge then improve the matchmaking like improve the maps improve the balance of the game you know that's what actually make people want to play the game more if they feel like they have a fair balanced experience and i know it cannot be perfect i know like it cannot be like completely perfect but uh, come on at least give it a try come on the the, the, the goddamn valve the, the, the goddamn valve in, in slaughterhouse it, it's just bullshit it's too hard like you guys need to see like how how hard can it be for killers to be able to counter that thing it's just it is hard let me see they since they woke up grandpa see if i can catch one in the basement oh, i can try to do something here try to pull like traps oh nah connie connie got the door connie, can you don't what the fuck letter face don't body block me i think connie got the door judging by oh yeah they all got it they got the shit there but they want to be able to all climb up what how, how can the attacks just go right through then and do no damage? Like, they need to fix the hitboxes, and this is something they fix. Instead of fixing the hitboxes, because they are a problem, they are a problem, because sometimes my attacks they just go right through the, the, the victims, they don't hit them at all. And they, they already went up there, at least Connie did. I didn't even have time to place the traps, because I was trying to get them at the basement. Oh, we do have a cook. Okay, at least that. So he, we do have bad locks in this match. Oh yeah, something that they need to do, that they should fix. They need to buff CC. Like Johnny, at least Johnny has like high damage, and he's just good at killing. Oh, at, at least that. Like so, there, there's at least that advantage for Johnny. But CC is just so bad because I tried to play with her a little bit, and I was like, damn, she's slow. She has low damage. She's slow, and her ability is not that good. So like people complain, vitamins they complain about like oh hitchhiker cook letterface combo but like why don't you guys try to play cc try play cc against like good good go, a good thing of victim so you can see how bad it is how oh now like a connie okay so she connie open here and they're probably gonna be living see it, it is not that hard to win when you're playing with them you just have to have connie and now uh, she has to be around here damn it Connie already opened this side Nah, yeah, it was Connie judging by the XP. She's around here. She probably has a bomb squad anyway, so even putting this, like, I'm telling you guys, Vitam is still easier mode. Even, even like, in in the other maps, like, and I'm playing alone here, I'm not playing communicating with other guys, so, yeah. <coughs> she has to be here, like, at this point, like, I have to camp here. I cannot leave this area because I know Connie is here by the XP. The door is open, so she's here. And I just like I'm I, like what killer is forced to camp at this location. Ah, I need to keep looking at the grass. We'll be hiding inside the house in the grass. At least the guy put a padlock there, but uh 
this is why they suck sometimes. Like, just because I made the mistake, maybe I shouldn't have went down. I thought I thought I'd be able to get them before they left the basement, but just because of one mistake that you do as killer, it kind of like puts you in a very bad position. Cause she's just gonna hide. She's gonna hide here. She's just gonna keep hiding around here until I go away. And when I go away, she's just gonna instantly unlock. Oh, there you are. Yeah, go go down, yeah, go down, go down. Go down. No, yeah, I was lucky to find out oh, incapacity. Good. And she should be like around that location there. Come on, why isn't T Cook feeding grandpa? Come on, dude. You're T Cook. That, that's what you are here for. You're supposed to feed grandpa. You're supposed to get a lot of blood for us. Oh. The cook is sitting somewhere. I mean, three of us are on this side. I mean, most killers are not very coordinated. I mean, if you're playing like alone. Solo queuing is always gonna be like kind of a mess. Why isn't Leatherface? The Leatherface is not even destroying anything. Uh, I'm gonna have to pretty much like camp that gate there where Connie was. Like that's gonna be like the only way because she can just go there and like escape. Unless they already escaped, unless like someone else was hiding as well. Oh yeah, see, 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 see. This is what I, 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 I fucking knew it. I got you. No, oh, our, our stamina. Thank you, thank you, game. This stamina problem with killers, mainly uh, with CC is the, is the even worse. Like, come on, if you're gonna make a killer like have low damage, at least give him more stamina to compensate, you know. But they don't even do that. They don't even do that. I should have placed the trap here. Oh, I know what to do. I need to... Oh, I, I cannot... Oh. I'm gonna place the trap and close the door. So in case they go inside that door, they probably won't be able to see it if the door is closed. Yeah, this. Let's see if that, that is gonna work. Oh, the guy put a padlock this way. Nice. I need to check the other sides. Nobody died yet, then. Okay, my trap is okay there. That way also. Better locks okay there. Over where, dude? I cannot see. If you only had the uh, level 3 uh, hearing ability so you could always show me where they are. Oh, Julie's right there. Oh, they got that. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, they're escaping. Yeah, it's over. See, it is easy. Now they're gonna teabag at the exit. Like, these are the kind of guys that like complain when killers go too hard. You know. And they're just gonna teabag and throw, because like when you don't have teammates to play with you, this is what happens. Just leave already. <laughs> I got the guy. <laughs> oh, you wanna throw me at the exit, dude? Well, at least one kill. At least I got a little bit of XP before you guys leave. Okay, Leland. Yeah, you will be able to get away with this. Oh, they, he even has to stay so he can stun me to talk to even do more shit. Amazing. It's just like you have like the DVD survivors like mentality to the victims in this game. This is that's just gonna make things worse because like like I said, like killers should boycott definitely is out house completely. Just say oh we're not doing his house anymore. And then like so that it makes it more so that it may it takes longer for victims to find matches. And what are the other killers doing? I mean if I was covering this area oh yeah, Connie. Connie here with me, Connie's here. Uh, 
Ah, she's trying. She's trying to go around. Oh, Connie. Haha, <laughs> you're not getting away. Okay, now only Julie left. Come on, guys. What are the other killers doing? Oh, now you decide to come, Letterface. Now, after all this time, you decide that it's a good idea to help me. Where's the battery? Oh, no. Oh, everybody's coming this way. Like, come on. There is, like... We don't need three killers. Like, that's what most people don't get. Like, we don't need three killers on the same side. Come on, guys. She's probably opening the other side or something, you know? At least the generator is back. And, well, I can level up Grandpa for more XP, but... I mean, the match already low, uh, lost anyway, because I think one escape already counts as a loss anyway, so... So tomorrow we got a new patch, but to be honest, like... I don't really feel like because it's uh like like really playing it. I mean it's not it's not like motivating me to play the game more, you know. It's not like the kind of patch that adds new content in a manner that like oh I need to I need we need to like set up a few friends to play together tomorrow just to see what is gonna be happening with the update. Nah man, it's nothing special. Nothing special. The the bug the, the, the car bug fix in this map is the only good thing that they're really adding. All their stuff like oh we cannot see like I mean, well, I'm sure some of my friends might like that. Oh, they won't know that we're playing a thing. So it's going to be easier that we won't we won't have to like lobby dodge. But to be honest, killer mains, they don't have to deal with my lobby dodging. Because if survivors are picky about lobbies, they're going to have to wait so long. Like the lobby dodging uh, among among uh, Vietnam mains, like they, it takes too long for them. I don't I don't even like I never pretty much at this point. Lob dodge when I play has with them because otherwise it's gonna take too long and I don't have I don't have patience to play uh to wait so long between the matches, you know. To find a match in a game, like nah. That's why mainly I play Vietnam, so I I end up like playing my multiplayer games which I can get matches faster. Where's the last girl? Come on Julie. Come on Julie, can we just finish this? Yeah, the other guys, did they even feed grandpa once? Maybe like once. Come on. I don't know what this cook is doing. He should be getting like blood. That's your job, dude. Looks like it's gonna be up to me to feed grandpa because the cook doesn't know what he what his job is. And now, I, I mean, what the buckets are empty. Like somebody's getting blood, but whoever it is is not. Beating Grandpa has much because when I play Cook or I play Sissy, like Grandpa goes to level five fast if it's up to me. Like I can get him to level five fast. I don't wait. I don't waste time with that. Especially with Sissy, Sissy really good for blood, but she's still not good enough. Like I mainly use it Sissy for blood builds, but like it's not enough. Like she needs to be better. Her ability is not good enough. Her she's slow. She's not fast enough. Her damage is too low. Like it's just a mess. Like. Like, they need to make the other killers better, like, I mean, the new killer, I suppose, is gonna be good because it's gonna be expensive, like, you're gonna have to pay $10 for a new killer, so, it's probably gonna be a good one. It's probably gonna have, like, a good, uh, Black Nancy, it's probably gonna be a good one. I mean, she should be, like, I mean, if they're gonna be charging that much uh, for a new character skin, like, it's almost like it has to be paid to win. Because, come on, it's too pricey, like, if it's not fun or really good, like, it, it's just, like, it's... It has to be. Oh, did they open there? No, no, my trap is still there. What? What the fuck is the cook doing? What the fuck? Did he found her? Is she is she already outside? But I saw one they escape it. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, what the fuck? She she meant. Oh, she she wake through. She went to the side. Oh, okay. She meant she didn't go through the door. Oh, okay. What the hell? Where did the cook go? Why doesn't she just escape? Why, why Vita Mains can't just escape? Just, dude, just leave. Can, can't you just leave the match? No, he has to wait here. He, he match and a uh, whole team, uh, team, the match host. You're not getting more XP. <laughs> My God, I mean, this, this is the kind of thing that it just makes you not want to play. 
because this guy he can just escape the match and leave but no he wants to stay here to just throw like just mock mock the killers like dude get a life and like he is he trying to make us lose time waste time like like dude just get your xp and leave dude you already won the match like people probably this game people are sore winners like you, you, they are they are even has winners they are assholes you you want the game but you still is not enough you have to stay here and mock the other thing and just throw them you know like dude get a life and like i could just like leave but i wouldn't want to leave because i wanted to get more xp but like this guy what is he gonna like He's waiting until we can get level 5 grandpa, because at this point, Tikuk should just leave there and the people, we should just like feed. When there's only one Vitam left, like just, just go to feed grandpa fast, like. Yeah, this guy is just an asshole. Like, these are the same kind of vitamins that were like, you use the car exploit, they would just like hide inside the car, so they couldn't get killed. I, I, I call it like the DBD, uh, DBD syndrome, because same thing with the, the DBD vitamins. Just feed grandpa, dude. Can you stop, like, just staying here doing nothing? Like, if you're not gonna do anything, like... I mean, this guy, is, they didn't even get a kill. Like, you guys are not doing anything. If you guys not even get kills or doing anything... You know, at least feed grandpa, you know? It's not that hard. Oh, she... Yeah, she's right there. She's right outside. See, this guy... He just... He just can't leave the match. No, no. He has to stay behind and teabag. Oh, man. This is why I never have mercy. When I when I play on a pre-made with my friends as killers, I never have mercy like on, on victims. Like it just like never mercy. They won't even leave the basement if it's up to me. Like this guy is an asshole. Like why can't the cook just feed grandpa for me? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, this guy just... Nah, because quitting, like, getting, leaving, leaving the game and winning is not enough. Yeah, we cannot find her. Like, and why can't the cook just fucking fit current? But like, we're just... I'm losing time here. Like, I don't feel like playing. Like, I, I feel like just quitting the game at this point. But I, I didn't want to lose XP. Because I'm like, there's no reason to stay in a match. Just, like, holding the match hostage. And my and my my teammates are dumb. Like, that's why, like, this game sometimes... It is not fun unless you are in a full party. Like, you have to be in a full party. Because otherwise, you have to deal with shit like this. If I was in a full party... They, they would probably have all died, and uh, even if they have escaped, uh, we would have probably have gotten grandpa to level 5 by now, so like, it would be like, no problem. But then again, you're playing alone, your opponents are assholes, are toxic assholes, and your teammates are dumb. Like, what is that cook doing? Like, what, what he's... Um, I don't even get. Like, you have potato teammates. Yeah, it's not even enough blood. Like, the, the cook should be doing this. Oh yeah, she's right there, see? Why can't la can't let her face see her by now? He should be there. Yeah, and she's just teabagging, she's just trolling. Oh, I'm so good at the game, I'm just hiding from the killers and just holding the match hostage, like... You don't have blood on you? Like, really? Oh, I think the game bugged out? No? Oh. Oh, now he decides to fit. Okay. Uh, why, why did let her face leave that place? Like, she's right there. Like, oh my god. Oh, and now that he's max level, she's gonna probably quit leave. Oh, and now she leaves. Oh, she has to teabag first, like... No, these are the kind of people that they deserve to deal with hackers, you know? No, you guys deserve, like, I saw hackers on this game, and this is exactly the kind of people that deserve to play against hackers.